robots today operate under very limited conditions. They work in the laboratory under very carefully controlled situations. What we want to do is we want to move these robots out of the laboratory and into schools and homes and clinics, places where we can directly help children on a day-to-day -day basis. My name is Brian Scoslotti, and I'm a computer scientist here at Yale University. Over the next five years, I'll be working with colleagues at universities across the country in order to build robots that can help children. We're just starting out on this brand new five-year project uh, that's being supported by the National Science Foundation under the Expeditions in Computing program. Uh, we'll be working with colleagues both here at Yale and at universities across the U.S. in order to try to bring this technology into people's homes. There are many challenges in trying to bring this kind of technology into people's homes and to do it in a way that is directly supporting these children. Uh, we're going to have to deal with systems that are able to learn and adapt over long periods of time. We're going to need to develop systems that can recognize and respond to the social cues that the children produce. We're going to need systems that can understand how it is that we motivate individuals toward a specific goal. In order to do this, we need robots that can respond and change to the child over a long period of time. That's something that we're not able to do with computing technology today. But we need systems that can adapt to the individual preferences of the child, that can guide a child toward a long-term behavioral goal, and that are able to do this in a way that is fun and appealing and motivating. Just like a good personal trainer, we want the robots to be able to guide the child toward a behavior that we desire. We want them to help the uh, children learn language. We want to help them learn better eating habits. We want them to learn new social or cognitive skills uh, through their interactions with these robots. And the robots will be supporting uh, the efforts that we already have with human therapists and their parents and their communities. The robots will supplement those activities and allow us to give children more continuous uh, and more uh, detailed uh, support. So robots today can change and respond and learn from very simple social cues and from very simple situations. What we want to do is to find ways in which we can enable this technology to work over longer periods of time and in a more generalized setting. If we're successful in this, we think that we can make a real difference uh, in the lives of children and we think that we can produce some of the most interesting, the most engaging, uh, and the most competent social robots uh, that we've ever seen.